What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to our Casper College Prestige Dynasty. Coming off our first ever win, although it was against an FCS school, and it was just barely, but even losing our starting quarterback, we managed to make by. Recruiting shaping up fairly well. You know, again, now that I have the knowledge that we can only sign 25 players in a given class, that's, <laughs> that's gonna help. So, you know, some of these players down here, like I would like to get Jonathan White, he would help. I would like to get William Quinn because I'd like another running or a quarterback, but I mean, if I don't, you know, all these players down here are just, just in case we need some fillers, but I think I'm kind of above signing 50 overall players now. And a lot of the reason why I'm focusing on Juco is number one, we're going to get a quicker bump out of them, but also, uh, basically after this year, I'm going to have to start cutting players. So if I have Juco's who come in and just graduate after two years, I don't have to cut any name players, but I'd like to bring in the new prospects, so I don't want to have to cut the entire freshman class either. All right, in today's episode, we're taking on Akron. Luckily, they're uh, they're not the team that we built in the relegation league, so they're a little bit worse off. But because I play them, I have the advanced knowledge of knowing that we have to change a jersey. I was tempted to switch to a triple option playbook this week or something, but. I I think we're just going to stick with the strategy of, of IA just sort of scrambling around. I think that'll work well. I just have to remember to slide all the time because I I don't want Johnson coming back out here, man. I really don't. <laughs> I took I took the red shirt away, but I don't want him back here. Oh, it's a rain game. That actually works out well for us. All right, let's get started off with a nice little read option. Matt gets to keep it. Good blocks. Picks up five. This is going to be a keeper to Mac no matter what. And fights forward, picks up four of it. Spread him out with the four verts. I'm just going to try and scramble here, honestly. No blocks. Um, I'll go for it. Keeper to Mac on the read option. There's a nice run. That's a nine right there. I'm just petrified to pass it here in the rain. <laughs> just like, I feel like that ball is going to go to the wrong stadium. You see what I mean? All right, I'll take that. Nice little scramble. Slide down. And they give him the first. Come on, Mac. Make one guy miss. No? Eh, it's still two. Also, I realize now I forgot to put rivalry games on the schedule. So it's Western Kentucky. That's our rival. And I also... Didn't remember to put Wyoming on here, who was our make-believe rival. That would have I would rather been playing one of those two right now. Alright, Mac is panting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and run him if I can avoid it. Daniel's wide open though. Great delivery on that pass. Again, Ovalle and Johnson are the same overall now, but Johnson basically got his on awareness boost. So Ovalle is faster. And has better pass accuracy. And I think a better arm, too. Like, just in general, he's better. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wait, this might be Mac right here. Now it's a scramble. I'll take it, though. Our one's running up, and we missed him by a mile. Johnson's out here. That's freaking me out. Why? Oh, I just hit Daniels in the back. Oh, by a sprained abdominal. He'll be back. And we missed him by a mile. I just wanted to pick up like five yards, make the kick a little easier. We'll take the field goal here. Keep Johnson in. I can't afford him to go out for a while. 38-yard field goal. It is in the rain. But the wind's not bad. Should be okay. Yeah, we got that. He's gonna launch it. Come on, Hale. I was gonna say, that's an easy pick right there. Stumble recovers two. Oh my god, that is amazing. He had all day in that pocket and he decided to throw that one up. Come on, guys. We're a little more improved now. We can catch those. Okay, I see what you guys are doing over here. And they all drop back into coverage. Mac, oh, he hangs on to it. Beautiful throw. Even better catch. I thought I was going to have to scramble that for a few yards, but luckily they left him open enough. 
Square wide open. D okay, wait a second. He caught that. They're not going to give him the touchdown? I, whatever. I'm just... I'll save my challenge for something more. I'm pretty sure we can get in here. There we go. Mac just brings it in. Whatever. We got the touchdown anyways. <laughs> it's going to be a 10 nothing lead here. Oh, he's taking off. Wow, he's slow as crap. I just didn't have a spy up. Good tackle, McBoom. Oh, Abray. Bad coverage. He tried to make up for it. I should have tried to snatch that. Whatever, we got the tackle. Get me off that block. Okay, it didn't help. Hagler finally takes him down. And, it's, yeah, that was his broken coverage. Ooh, Washington, good return. Oh, that's a clipping. Oh, my God, no one saw. Oh, Ovalle just kept it and was out. They all went after the halfback. I'd rather have Ovalle take it. Honestly, he's faster. End of the first quarter, and we are surprisingly in the lead. 10-7 over Akron. Coach wanted to call Hail Mary. Um, okay. I should have just hit R1 on that. There we go. Zay with a nice little catch. Breaks it to third and six. Okay. Nice man coverage. Slide down. That's going to be like 50% of the dropbacks are just going to be scrambles. Blitz coming. Read options not to play. Obaye's tired. Mac was wide open. Throw that short. There we go, Murphy. I think it's his first catch on the year. Whoop. Okay, that was way off, which is fine. That probably would have been picked. That, that's not who I threw that to. I threw it to Square. That was so inaccurate. But hey, Daniels with a nice catch, picking up the first. Every time I try and go for read option, they bring the heat. But luckily, Ovaya is... Well, well, he's faster than that guy. He just can jump better. Matt keeps that one. Fourth and four. I'll take another field goal, I guess. That's why we got the kicker. Make sure we get the points. Good job, Sasparilla. The problem is we're getting absolutely no pressure on this quarterback. Terrible man coverage, but that's to be expected. Here comes the Wildcat. And he's just faster. 47 took a bad line. Mm. Like, instead of just chasing him to the sideline, he tried to come forward a little bit, and that just ruined his angle. There's a nice return. Come on, Washington. Let's go. I don't think he's gone. That's still a great 60-yard return right there. He's basically putting us right in field goal range already. It'd be great if my receivers would just, like, not stand still. Oh. Hi, Triangle. Daniels is, like, the bright spot from the leftovers from last year. Three for 52 for, the, for him in the first half. We're at 150% efficiency from the red zone. I don't know how you do that. We're at 0% efficiency for blocking, though. Slide. Just take those couple yards. Aro, he was... Not Aro, but Ezra was so exhausted. He was, like, gingerly scrambling on that one. Fourth and goal. Mmm. Scramble to the left, maybe? Scramble to the left was the play. All righty. Ezra Ovalle running in for a touchdown. 32 seconds left and a half. We got the lead again. I'll just take the PAT. No need to go for two if we don't have to. Going in the halftime. Up 20-14 to 14 over Akron.
And he trucked our guy, but we still stop him before he gets the first. I over-pursued, otherwise I could have had him in the back. Third and three, they're going with the Wildcat again? I mean, it worked last time, and it looks like it worked again. So I'm going to stop saying things. He's taking off. And he only gets five. Oh, I missed the tackle. Third and two. And he... Oh, we almost got him. Nope, he's... All right. Washington finally takes him down. Almost got him in the backfield. That would have been nice. Oh, come on. It's these tight ends, too. That's always our kryptonite. It's because, like, they're bigger than us. Oh, my God, please. And please tell me it's not a face mask. Of course it is. I mean, that's what I get for having aggressive tackling on. It's just still frustrating to think that you had such a good play and it just went to crap that quickly. Oh, I forgot what team I was using. I'm like, oh, I'll just give him some room. And then they can just throw that for an automatic TFL. No, I don't have the speed to catch up to him. Uh-oh. And bad coverage again. We get another good return out of Washington. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, I tried to cut that back inside. I didn't get the block I thought I was going to get, though. Good snag by Gordon there. We were almost out of bounds. Oh, didn't slide. I tried to. I can't quite get the first. God, I really wish I had halfback dive. Couldn't get a block there, but that's all right. Mac fought through it, picking up a first. Five yards on that. Great. And how out here grabbing a catch. See, we can throw the ball still. Mac a little five yarder catch. All right, let's keep the ball moving. Oh, Homestar Runner's in here getting a catch, picking up the screen. And he only gets three. For someone named Homestar Runner, he is really slow. And could not get the blocks. End of the third quarter, we're down 21-20 to Akron, and we got decisions to make. This is risky. And Ovalle's tired. And the block didn't hold, but that's all right. Ovalle with enough speed, get out of bounds. Picking up the first. The gamble pays off. Ooh, that was a really good block right there. R1 stepped out of bounds. Ovalle fights his way in for a rushing touchdown. He was winded. He's not down injured, though. Thank God. Fourth quarter. We still have not punted. We have not turned the ball over. And once again, we're taking a lead. Coach wanted to go for two. Not yet. Not yet. Defense, if you were ever going to get a stop. Okay, or not. <laughs> there we go. Diving in, taking out his feet at the last second. He broke off everyone, though. That running back ability at 70 is really a problem sometimes. All right, well, I didn't cover that very well, but at least I wrapped him up. Get out of here, Rue. Oh, great job, defense. First time I think we've hit that quarterback in the backfield all day. Unfortunately, it's only third and two when they're three for four on third down conversions. Speed option. Oh, my God. Get up. No, never mind. If we had taken him down the first time, that would have been it. But he bounced off, and there was no one covering the halfback, so that was just an easy pitch. This is why my entire recruiting class is just going to be defensive linemen. Good wrap-up by Gonzalez, though. Gets credit for a sack on that. The converted safety taking him down. As much as all these new players are making an impact that made our team that much better, it's just nice seeing some of the older players coming in, stepping up when they need to. The biggest upside for us is even if they score a touchdown here, they're only going to have a one-point lead. We only need a field goal if they score a touchdown here. And everything they're getting, they got to work for it. Unless I'm doing coverage. Yeah. 
Oh, what happened? I whiffed. I was back there, and I, I don't know. I just whiffed. Yeah, that was just... We weren't ready for a toss. Whew. Setting up beautifully right here for Washington. Cut it inside. Try and pick up a couple blocks. Cut it out. Perfect. Got a pancake down there. No flags. Near midfield. We need about 30 yards. And we got two and a half minutes to do it. All right. Well, now we need 33. I will gladly take this. Out of bounds. I'll do that again. Slide. Field goal range. Now, basically, what I'm going to try and do here is chew the clock and center the ball a little bit more. I'd call a four verbs and scramble, but Ovalle is winded, so we're just going to give him a breather. And also, because Mac is apparently going to be able to get it done, too. Run up the gut. That's a first down and more. Mac just made this one of the easiest field goals we're going to be able to attempt. Wow, they're just not able to stop this, huh? I'll give it one more shot just to see. Oh, that's not looking good. No, that's all right. We basically just made this an ex a PAT. Unfortunately, I kind of ran off to the side a little bit, so... um. It's not quite centered. But we drilled it anyways. And that is the win. We went from 0-12, five straight seasons, if you include the Sims, to a 2-0 start, beating a big boy school. I mean, a group of five school, but still an actual FBS opponent. We take down Akron. An ESPN Classic game. Uh, and Bush... This is one getting a highlight, even though we're the team that won. Ovalle gets player of the game, right? Of course he does. Of course he does. Incredible performance. No turnovers. Didn't even fumble it out of bounds at any point. Final stats on the day. Ovalle, 14-20, 170 yards. One touchdown, no picks. Did take the one sack. I should have thrown that one away. But 70% completion percentage with a 60 overall QB on these sliders. I will take it. And then you see what happened when Johnson stepped in. Rushing Ovalle with 106 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. I didn't realize he got over 100. I was, I guess I stopped paying attention. Mack at 12 for 48 and another touchdown. Great job running the ball this year. Receiving Mack at 4 for 50. Daniels 3 for 52. Zay at 2 for 20 and a touchdown. Howe had 2 for 24. Homestar Runner 1 for 3 on that screen. Gordon at 1 for 16. And James Murphy Jr. 1 for 5. Defense McCray led the team with five tackles today. A couple blown ones, too, but that's all right. Only two TFLs for the team. Gonzalez with the only sack. Xander Hale snatching a pick basically right at the beginning of the game. I think it was, yeah, their first offensive play, and that's basically where our lead came from. Abray with the only pass deflection today. But it cannot be understated. Cedric Gonzalez, four kick returns for 141 yards, including a 59-yarder. Uh, no punt returns because there were no punts whatsoever in this game. All right, well, my goal was three wins this year. We're already got two. So one more, and I think we'll be safe. Hopefully we won't get fired this year. That's really all I want. I just want to keep the coach for two straight years. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave it down in the comment section below, including name suggestions for any of these incoming recruits. It'll be added to the database, and I'll draw names in the offseason. Everything you leave down in the comment section, though, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out. <laughs>